Hey friends, Grandmaster Brown here. You know, once upon a time, I had a pair of students, mother and son. The mom, I will call Rose. The son, I will call John. Mom loved martial arts, but John just wanted to stay home and play video games. Against my advice, she caved and let him quit, even though she continued all the way to black belt. When the young man turned 15, she tried to talk him into getting his learner's permit so he could learn to drive. He refused. Then when he turned 16, he refused again. At 18, she talked him into going to college. He attended a single day, came home and decided he was never going back. She arranged to get him a job in retail. He worked an hour and walked out and called for her to come get him. Today, he is living at home with no job, no education, and no license as his 30th birthday approaches. Now, it could be just a coincidence. It has nothing to do with letting him quit martial arts, right? Okay, uh, another family, another story. Let's call them Julie, Drake, and the younger brother, Michael. All three were really great martial artists. Julie earned her black belt, Drake got his, but Michael was allowed to quit only months away from earning his black belt. Julie got an education, rewrote her life, moved on from a divorce. Drake went to college, got two degrees, got a good job, relationships, and a bright future. All while Michael refused to get his license, refused to go to college or trade school, and refused to get a job. Still living at home in his mid-20s. Still think it's a coincidence? Maybe. I went to a small sandwich shop place very recently. There was a lady working there who was obviously beyond the age where she should be on her feet all day, earning a low wage. She obviously did it because she had no other choice. I recognized her. Her son, whom I will call Nathan, was a student who was allowed to quit. It had been probably 10 years since I had last seen her, but I recognized her and remembered his name. I remembered him because it had been heartbreaking when he quit. <clears throat> hey, how is Nathan? She shook her head to the negative, but her words were, oh, he's okay. Well, I said, your words say he's okay, but your expression tells me otherwise. He's home. He won't leave the house. He won't get a job. He refuses to get his license. He won't do anything. I have to work to pay for us. She was nearly in tears. I asked if she wanted me to talk to him. He won't talk to anyone. I told her I was willing to just show up, but she declined. It won't do any good, but thank you. Still a coincidence? Maybe, but Dr. Joyce Brothers, famous psychologist and child specialist, said something once that resonates with me. There are few things more damaging to a child's subconscious than letting them quit. Now, think of the inner self-loathing and the inner voice of these young men. I couldn't make myself finish. No one cares about me enough to make me finish. They just let me quit. They don't care. All these other people were able to get theirs, but I failed. Now, I'm not denying that there are probably a lot of factors that went into these situations. Missing their black belt might not have even been part of it. It could have been bullying, rejection from a love interest, concerns over the home situation, lack of parental involvement, a sense of failure in school. But I can tell you this, it was related to internal self-loathing. Now, let me ask you this question. Would the situation have been any different if they had earned their black belts? You know, when I think about it, not a single one of my students who have earned their black belts ended up like this. Some ended up incredibly successful afterwards. Several doctors, more than a few teachers, engineers, actually quite a few of those too, a pilot, a psychologist, a school principal, corporate CEO, one guy through hike to the Appalachian Trail and another sailed around the world. And I have one who works for the King of Bataan as his top botanist. And then I know of those who have since started their own million dollar businesses. Your kids are just kids. Are they ready to move out and live on their own? No. Then why let them make other decisions you know they are unqualified to make? Show them that you care by getting them to class. Support them in their dream of earning a black belt by telling them how proud you are and how much you love watching them. And then let us know when you struggle. We will show we care too by giving them a booster class and getting them re-motivated. We are so good at this, we teach other schools how to do it. No one climbs to the top of Mount Everest alone. Likewise, no one earns a black belt without support. Let's do this together. Black belts are different, I've heard it say, and so are black belt parents. Grandmaster out.